Hello viewers, this is Wagda Ronald taking you through today's tutorial on application to differentiation 1. And today's lesson shall talk about stationary points of a curve. So stationary points are also known as turning points of a curve and it's a point where the gradient of the tangent is 0. A stationary point can be a maximum point or a minimum point or a point of inflection. So a maximum point is called a stationary point, a minimum point is a stationary point and a point of inflection is a stationary point. So the word stationary point is a general word to mean either maximum or minimum or point of inflection. So in this case, this is the diagram and in this case we shall identify the maximum, minimum and points of inflection. Now maximum points are these ones whereby there is a change in gradients. For example, in this case the gradient here is positive, the gradient here is negative. So in this case this becomes a maximum point. Similarly to this, gradient here is positive, gradient here is negative, so this is a maximum point. For the minimum point, the gradient is first negative, then positive. This is the min so point C is the minimum point. Also point F, the gradient is first negative and then positive. So F is also a minimum point. Now for the points of inflection, the signs of the gradient doesn't change. For example, here the gradient is positive and also after this point it is positive. So in this case it is a, called a point of inflection. Similarly here the gradient is first negative and even after this point it is negative. Therefore point E is also a point of inflection. So we shall now distinguish these stationary points. Nature of stationary points means that you distinguish either is its maximum or minimum or inflection. So in this case these are the conditions for the maximum, minimum and points of inflection. When the point when the stationary point is a maximum point, for example at point B and D, it means that the first derivative is equal to zero, but the second derivative is less than zero. If the if the stationary point is a minimum point, for example at point C and point F, it means that the first derivative is zero, but the second derivative is greater than zero. Now greater than zero means it is positive. Less than zero means it is negative. For the points of inflection it means that both the first and the second derivatives are equal to zero. So we shall use that knowledge to go through the solutions to the following problems. Now problem 1 says that find the coordinates of the turning points on the curve y equal to x cubed plus 3x squared minus 9x minus 5 and distinguish between them. So first of all we are given the equation of the curve. The first thing to do is to differentiate. So dy dx will be equal to for this it will be 3x squared, for this it will be 6x, for this it will be 9, minus 9, and this is 0. Differentiating a constant you get 0, so it remains like that. After that, we have to remember that for turning points, dy dx is equal to 0. Now we shall equate our dy dx to 0 and I think I'll see that we can reduce by 3 to get this and after that we shall have to factorize. We know that the sum is 2 and the product is 1 times negative 3 which is negative 3. So the factors which have the sum of 2 and a product of negative 3 are negative 1 and 3. Therefore it means that x minus 1 brackets multiplied by x plus 3 brackets will be equal to zero so that's how the factor is and in the end it means that either this is equal to zero or this is equal to zero now for x minus one equal to zero it means that x will be equal to one and for x plus three equal to zero it means that x will be equal to negative three now that we have got the values of x we have to get the corresponding values of y for each 
Now when x is equal to 1, it means that to come, we substitute 1 in the equation of y. So when I substitute, I'll get, I'll get my y as negative 10. So that means that 1 of the turning points is 1, negative 10. Then when x is equal to negative 3, it means that I'll come and substitute th negative 3 in the value of in the expression for y, and I'll get 22. What does that mean? It means that the other turning point is negative 3, 22. So now we shall go to nature of the turning points. You have to distinguish the two turn which one is maximum, which one either is maximum or minimum or a point of inflection. So to do that we have to get the second derivative. First derivative is this. Second derivative is got by differentiating this. So when I differentiate 3x squared, I'll come up with 6x. Differentiate x squared 6x, I'll come up with 6. Differentiate negative 9, I'll come, it will be 0 because 9 is a constant. Now at point 1 negative 10 it means that x is equal to 1 therefore come and substitute for x in the second derivative you come up with 12. I think you realize that 12 is a positive value. What does that mean? It means that your second derivative at this point is greater than 0 and therefore it is a minimum point. At the point negative 3 22 x is negative 3 therefore you substitute for x in the second derivative and you come up with negative 22. What does that mean? It means that the second derivative is less than 0. And that implies that this point of th negative 322 is a maximum point. So now we have differentiated the two points. We shall now go to problem 2. Problem 2 says that find the coordinates of the stationary points on the curve y equal to x power 4 plus 2x cubed and distinguish between them. So first of all you have the equation is there and the first thing to do is to differentiate. So when I differentiate this x power 4 I'll get 4x cubed. Differentiate this I'll come up with 6x squared. Then I'll remember that for stationary points the first derivative is equal to 0. I'll now come and equate my first derivative to 0. I can now factor, I can factorize 2x squared is common in both terms. Therefore, I factorize it out. So it will become 2x squared in brackets 2x plus 3. In this case, it means that either 2x squared is equal to 0 or 2x plus 3 is equal to 0. For 2x squared equal to 0, my x will be 0. And for 2x plus 3 equal to 0, it means that x is equal to negative 1.5. Now that I've got the values of x, I have to get the corresponding values of y. When x is 0, the corresponding value of y will be 0. Therefore, the st one of the st stationary point is 0, 0. And when x is equal to negative 1.5, y is equal to, I'll come and substitute for x in the expression for y, and I'll come up with negative 27 over 16 as my y coordinate, my y value. Therefore, it implies that the stationary point is negative 1.5, which is negative 3 over 2, and negative 27 over 16. Now we shall go to the nature of the stationary point. In other words, we have to distinguish whether it's maximum or minimum or a point of inflection. And the first step is to differentiate the to, to differentiate this so that you get the second derivative. So when I differentiate 4x cubed, I'll come up with 12x squared. And when I differentiate 6x squared, I'll come up with 12x. At the point 0, 0, it implies that x is equal to 0. So substitute for 0 for here and here, you will come up with 0 plus 0 giving you 0. In this case, the second derivative is equal to 0, meaning this coordinate is a point of inflection. Then at this point of negative 3 over 2 and negative 27 over 16, 
the second derivative it means that x is equal to negative 1.5 so I come and substitute for negative 1.5 here and get 9 this 9 is a positive value meaning the second derivative is greater than 0 and therefore this coordinate is a minimum point so we have managed to distinguish between the two turning points so we have gone through a number of problems now your turn to try out these problems so that is problem one and part s and the expected answer is that that is problem two you try it out and the expected answer is this so that has been our lesson for today thank you for watching and please subscribe to my channel ROA e-learning platform thank you